Cornell University is a private Ivy League and statutory land-grant research university based in Ithaca, New York. Founded in 1865 by Ezra Cornell and Andrew Dixon White, Cornell was founded with the intention to teach and make contributions in all fields of knowledge, from the classics to the sciences, and from the theoretical to the appeal is ranked among the most prestigious universities in the world. So in this video we are going to discuss Cornell University. The video is going to be amazing, make sure to stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The university is organized into seven undergraduate colleges and seven graduate divisions at its main Ithaca campus, with each college and division defining its specific admission standards and academic programs in near autonomy. The university also administers three satellite campuses, two in New York City and one in Education City. Cornell is one of the few private land-grant universities in the United States. Of its seven undergraduate colleges, three are state-supported statutory or contract colleges through the State University of New York, SUN Lye system, including its Agricultural and Human Ecology Colleges, as well as its Industrial Labor Relations School. Of Cornell's graduate schools, only the Veterinary College is state-supported. As of September 2021, 61 Nobel laureates, four Turing Award winners, and one Fields medalist have been affiliated with Cornell. Cornell counts more than 250,000 living alumni, and its former and present faculty and alumni include 34 Marshall Scholars, 33 Rhodes Scholars, 29 Truman Scholars, 7 Gates Scholars, 63 Olympic medalists, 10 current Fortune 500 CEOs, and 35 billionaire alumni. Since its founding, Cornell has been a co-educational, non-sectarian institution, where admission has not been restricted by religion or race. The diverse student body consists of more than 15,000 undergraduate and 10,000 graduate students from all 50 American states and 119 countries. History Cornell University was founded on April 27, 1865. The New York State and U.S. legislature authorized the university as the state's land-grant institution. Senator Ezra Cornell offered his farm in Ithaca, New York, as a site and $500,000 of his personal fortune as an initial endowment. Fellow senator and educator Andrew Dixon White agreed to be the first president. During the next three years, White oversaw the construction of the first two buildings and traveled to attract students and faculty. The university was inaugurated on October 7, 1868, and 412 men were enrolled the next day. Cornell developed as a technologically innovative institution, applying its research to its own campus and to outreach efforts. For example, in 1883, it was one of the first university campuses to use electricity from a water-powered dynamo to light the grounds. Since 1894, Cornell has included colleges that are state-funded and fulfill statutory requirements. It has also administered research and extension activities that have been jointly funded by state and federal matching programs. Cornell has had active alumni since its earliest classes. It was one of the first universities to include alumni elected representatives on its board of trustees. Cornell was also among the Ivies that had heightened student activism during the 1960s, related to cultural issues, civil rights, and opposition to the Vietnam War. With protests and occupations resulting in the resignation of Cornell's president and the restructuring of university governance. Today, the university has more than 4,000 courses. Cornell is also known for the Residential Club Fire of 1967, a fire in the Residential Club dormitory that killed eight students and one professor. Since 2000, Cornell has been expanding its international programs. In 2004, the university opened the Weill Cornell Medical College in Qatar. It has partnerships with institutions in India, Singapore, and the People's Republic of China. The former president, Jeffrey S. Lehman, described the university, with its high international profile, as a transnational university. On March 9, 2004, Cornell and Stanford University laid the cornerstone for a new Bridging the Rift Center to be built and jointly operated for education on the Israel-Jordan border. Ithaca Campus Main Articles Cornell Central Campus, Cornell North Campus, and Cornell West Campus. Cornell's main campus is on East Hill in Ithaca, New York, overlooking the city and Cayuga Lake. Since the university was founded, it has expanded to about 2,300 acres, encompassing both the hill and much of the surrounding areas. 
Central Campus has laboratories, administrative buildings, and almost all of the campus academic buildings, athletic facilities, auditoriums, and museums. North Campus is composed of 10 residence halls that primarily house first-year students, although the townhouse community occasionally houses transfer students. The five main residence halls on West Campus make up the West Campus house system, along with several Gothic-style buildings, referred to as the Gothics. College Town contains two upper-level residence halls and the Schwartz Performing Arts Center, amid a mixed-use neighborhood of apartments, eateries, and businesses. Construction has also been completed on three new residential buildings that will be situated on North Campus, providing beds for an estimated additional 1,200 students to be completed by fall 2022. These are named after Hugh Shea, Barbara McClintock, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, all Cornell graduates. The main campus is marked by an irregular layout and eclectic architectural styles, including ornate collegiate Gothic, Victorian, and neoclassical buildings, and the more spare international and modernist structures. The more ornate buildings generally predate World War II. The student population doubled from 7,000 in 1950 to 15,000 by 1970, at a time when architectural styles favored modernism. While some buildings are neatly arranged into quadrangles, others are packed densely and haphazardly. These eccentricities arose from the university's numerous ever-changing master plans for the campus. For example, in one of the earliest plans, Frederick Law Olmsted, the designer of Central Park, proposed a grand terrace overlooking Cayuga Lake. Several of the university buildings are listed as historic landmarks. Those listed on the National Register of Historic Places include the Andrew Dixon White House, Bailey Hall, Caldwell Hall, the Computing and Communication Center, formerly Comstock Hall, Morrill Hall, Rice Hall, Ferno Hall, Wing Hall, Lenrock, and 13 South Avenue, Deke House. At least three other historic buildings, the original Roberts Hall, East Robert Hall and Stone Hall, have also been listed on the NRHB. However, the university demolished them in the 1980s to make way for other development. In September 2011, Travel Plus Leisure listed the Ithaca campus as among the most beautiful in the United States. However, the university has drawn criticism from student groups for a planned North Campus expansion, for which they have not released an environmental impact statement. Since 2007, the university has committed to achieve net carbon neutrality by 2035 from the baseline 2008 emissions, acting as the first Ivy League institution to take on such a sustainability goal. Cornell's Ithaca campus, as of 2020, is powered by six solar farms, providing a total of 28 megawatts of power. In contrast to lake source cooling, heating needs to be met through the development of earth source heating, a mid to low grade enhanced geothermal system. The geothermal system is eventually planned to supply 20% of campus heating demand. The earth source heating project has received a $7.2 million grant from the DOE and Jefferson Tester and Teresa Jordan, are leading the research to drill a test well on university land in spring of 2021. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.